Alrighty, so welcome back, stackers. Welcome back, all the beautiful people of YouTube. Today is the second episode of storage auction lockers that I purchased, if that makes sense. But we picked up our second locker here um, at a storage auction just yesterday. I haven't been inside. I bought the locker because there was three metal crates on the left side on top of like some red dresser kind of thing. Um, I don't know if there's tools or something inside that little cabinet dresser sort of thing, but I didn't know the metal crates I can probably get 25 or 30 bucks for the lot. So I figured, you know, I'm going by the storage unit anyway for lunch. Uh, it's on the way to a lot of things that I run for errands. It's probably only going to take me about an hour to clean out the thing. I paid a whopping $5. I know there was some furniture in it, but as for anything else, I don't know. Um, you don't get to go into these lockers. They, they simply just open the lock, lift open the gate. You have about 30 seconds, 45 seconds to look, and then they auction it off. Um, so yeah, I spent five bucks. Can't go wrong. Should make some money. Let's go over there and see if we found anything cool. All right, so here we are. Bought a locker. We're going to check it out. I haven't been in here, so I don't know what's in here. I do know they open up the lock, or they open up the locker before. Asked me if I was interested on the left side, so uh, we'll see if that's actually a good buy. I figured I'd probably get 20, 25 for them, but other than that, I haven't been in the locker. I haven't seen what's in there. Let's go in there and check it out. I think I unlocked it. Alright, good to go. Alright, so here it is. I paid a whopping five dollars. <coughs> wow. Paid a whopping five bucks for this. Um, my thought process here? I don't know what my thought process was here. I wanted to know what was in here, because I thought this was neat. I figured I'd probably get five bucks for this. This piece right here, uh, I might keep for myself. Is this drawers on the front? There are no drawers on the front. There were drawers on the front. I don't know, maybe I'll Facebook it. This stuff over here, this is kind of like plywood stuff. Oh, it's a headboard. Oh, you got the rails over there. This is kind of what I was after. Um, this is great for weddings. Let's see what we got here. I don't know. I thought it was nice. Um, I figured I'd probably get 25 30 bucks for all three. Uh, 10 bucks a piece is not unreasonable. Maybe even 15 a piece for this. I guess these are little chalkboards you can write something on. I remember seeing that, and I was like, that's not great. Um, going to bake on, there's something in here, but I might be wrong. I guess we got a coffee table. And I guess an armor, or maybe a little dresser. Something maybe in there. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. We got a jacket. Oh, it's a big, that's a bag. So you got a book bag. Book bag, some bed rails. Got a nice bin. This box got something in it. <laughs> I don't know what these are. What are these? Butterfly lantern with crook. 40 inches. Oh, I guess they're like a little stand. I guess the best thing is see if there's anything in these. I mean, I guess if, if you wrap them like this, it's got to be worth something. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I don't move furniture. This coffee table. I don't know. Let's see what's in the bag. A little beat up. It's got some weight to it. You know, at first before, yeah, yeah, just screw it. We'll go through the bag. Not all I'm gonna do with that. It's got weight. Maybe there's a phone in here. We got clothes. 
clothes, more clothes, some drawers, clothes, some train, miscellaneous train pieces, Let's see. quarters. More train pieces, some jingle in here, got some push pins, some paper clips, some pens, and some junk. There's gotta be five bucks and quarters in there. One, two, there's gotta be like ten or fifteen dollars in quarters. So. Cash-wise, I guess I found some cash. Found cash. I don't know. I'm going to throw these out. I don't like. What am I going to do with these? I have got push pins. I can keep those. So that's all right. Grab the gloves. Now let. We'll see what's in here. All right. So I think this looks kind of nice. I mean, someone did paint it. So I mean, it is what it is. They're not even real. These doors. Drawers aren't even real. That's a shame. That's like fake drawers. Wow. Oh man. I thought they'd be real. I was like, no, they're, they're stuck. Huh. All right. I thought these were like actual drawers. I mean, I don't even know if I can sell that. It's like just a decorative piece. I guess I could. These gym shorties. Christmas things. Got ourselves a little bit of work in here, that's for sure. And I'm really shocked. I wonder if there's anything in these these dressers. It opens like that, guys. So it's like a chest. It's like a fake chest. Wow. Well, I was kind of disappointed as well because there's nothing in there. So something like this, put on Facebook, probably get 25, 30 bucks for it. It's not a bad thing. It looked nice in front of you. You're going for like a country-ish decor. Oh. So this thing isn't bad. It's got nice, uh, nice rollers on the bottom. Be a nice workbench. I guess it goes on Facebook as well. It's not something I bring to the fleet. This thing's going to take about a third of my van. So. Felt that in the bottom shelf, so that's empty. I assume the whole thing's probably empty. And that armoire dresser thing's also empty. Where's the rest of this? Like, this is the. Oh, I guess that's the footboard and that's the headboard. And those are the rails for it. That makes sense. Makes a lot more sense. I don't know if there was something in that bag or something. That's where that bag was. Um, there's a dark spot literally right where the bag was, so now I'm worried that, I don't know, did I miss something in that bag? Maybe the bomb's like soaked or something. It looks pretty old, so. No, it looks clean. I don't know. Don't know. <laughs> a lot of furniture. If anyone who's in furniture knows what this style is, I don't think it's mid-century. It's kind of rounded. I kind of want to take out this plastic to see if there's a name on it. Screw it, you know, I'll do that. There's no name. It's fairly well built. It doesn't look like press board. I don't know. Don't know. All right, so there she is in all of her glory. Dresser. It's kind of nice. I think it's nice. It, it, I like how the style is. You pull it from underneath. It's kind of neat. 
All right, so we have this nice mirror. It's not bad. I think it maybe came off a dresser. I don't know. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. I know this dresser right here is missing the, the mirror, so I don't know if this is it, but it matches that. So I think like that'd be like a nice vanity, I guess to be called. Um, and you put the mirror right over it. I think it'll match. I think they'll sell together very, very quickly at the market. So that's a, it's better than I thought. The dresser mirror. This is it. Um, that's it. <laughs> that's the piece. So that goes on top of that. That's the armoire. And then we got the headboard over here. It looks like a full-size bed. We got these rails here. So it's a full bedroom set. All right, so we made it to the end. Here's the last piece. It's armoire. An armoire. Um, fairly good shape. Is it highly sought after? I don't know. I'm not a furniture guy. Probably not. It seems to be uh, something that's kind of gone out of style in terms of new furniture. Not, it's, it's something in this room keeps making noises. But other than that, this room is very, very clean. I'm happy about that. I just got to give it a little broom sweep. Another storage auction locker in the books. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this kind of series. I think when I come out with more storage auction lockers, try to pick up some other lockers that have boxes and more mystery items. Um, but this is kind of what it really is. I'd say, you know, the majority of them are usually just someone's bedroom set with maybe a box or two boxes or three boxes thrown in there. Maybe a garbage bag of, of clothes. But I think overall it was a good day. Obviously, you know, you made your money back with the quarters. Um, that's just a monetary thing, but only probably like eight or ten bucks in terms of profit. Uh, we have those baskets. Is The reason why I bought the lockers is because the baskets, I knew I could probably get 20, 25, or 30 bucks at the market. The dresser, I'm going to probably ask 35 or 45 This piece, I'm so uncertain about what I want to do with it. Um, and a couple other pieces. So maybe make about a quarter, one and a quarter, 150 uh, out the whole thing. Maybe make, you know, 100, 100 and a quarter in profit on the whole thing. It took me about an hour to clean this whole thing out. Uh, probably got another about three minutes left. Uh, but we're probably going to sign off right here. If you guys have enjoyed this storage auction video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you guys want to see more treasure picking and storage auction uh, locker rooms, as you might say. Definitely subscribe to the channel because I will be coming out more in the future. And uh, as always, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace!